How do you have this song a little bit in your head, or have you only heard, heard it once or twice now? I haven't heard it enough to sing it, okay. but I sort of know how the melody goes. Okay, so if you start just <laughs> doing our little the little picking we did on an E chord, yeah, and do a couple measures of that, and when it sounds like it would change, try one of those two chords. No. Okay. Wait. So what do you? Well, okay. Might be that. Okay. Try it again from the E and see if, I mean, do, do a few more measures of... You don't play E very often, huh? All the time. Yeah. I just don't look at my fingers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now let's Could listen. Be Could be that. Purple clouds turn scarlet in the setting sun. Play a chord. Oh. I thought she was still on E. Ooh, that's bad. She wasn't. She'd already changed. Okay. So it next pretty close to the sound of E. Yeah. Could be. Could be B. sagebrush turns to Guess that. God. Yeah. You don't play B seven often very, very often either, huh? Okay. Now let's listen. So it, so this is what happens. It went to it went to B seven. Okay, now let's listen and see how long it stays on B and whether it goes back, which right. won't go to E minor. <laughs> no, no, I was just trying to think in my head how I could get B7 with my, yeah, but it's not. Everything has to, or well, well, one finger stays, the bass yeah. note stays. Right. right, that's what I was trying right. to look at, yeah. Yeah, and, and, let's, and so the, the next question is, when it leaves B7, does it go back to where it came from or does it sound like it or does it's it go higher. somewhere else? Don't listen to her voice, listen to the guitar. Oh, right. Pay attention to the bass notes you're hearing on the guitar. Okay. 